I was told that this saw would never run again. I believe it will. I could be wrong, but I believe it can be fixed. Follow along to the end and see if I can actually get this old saw running. Join me as I share stories of my life as a kid, bringing junk home and turning it into something useful. Fact is, I'm still doing this today at age 69. I bought this thing, this old saw, back in the early 80s. There was a time when they thought that they were going to outlaw commercial saws. So I bought it, thinking that. Well, that never happened. I used it for several years. Then I didn't need it anymore. So it just sat on the shelf. It sat a long time. I went to use it and it wouldn't start. So I took it into the local repair shop. A few days had passed and I went back to see what they found out. And they told me that it's low in compression and that it would never run again. It wasn't worth fixing. I took them at their word and that thing has sit on the shelf for over three decades. But I believe it will run. I could be wrong. But I think I know something that they don't. Maybe not. I'm willing to try. I hope you follow along. The first step in an old saw like this, what I would do is just disassemble it. At a certain point, I'm gonna take the breather off, pull the plug out, and check the compression, see what I think. Pulling the rope, it has very little compression. I can tell that, but let's see what we have. So follow along, and I encourage you to follow to the end of the video because there is something that's gonna happen that you'll be interested in seeing. Let's take the air cleaner cover off and see what we have underneath here. Oh, it's been a long time since I've had that off. You can tell that that hasn't been cleaned in many years. There's the carburetor. Let's see. Wow. Let's choke. Yep, choke still works. Let's... No wonder. The spark plug isn't even in it. Let's see if it has spark since we... Um, since we have that out, no wonder there's no compression. I didn't realize that spark plug wasn't in there. Tell you what, <laughs> that reminds me of a story. My sister, no, it was my brother. I wanted to test the spark and he didn't know any better. So I told him to grab a hold of the spark plug and just hold on to the, a piece of uh, part of the engine. And said nothing will happen and I pulled the rip cord and he jumped back and screamed at me I couldn't help I mean I was falling down on the ground laughing at him so hard I never could get him to hold my spark plug after that I wonder why let's see if this has spark ay 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 look here guys I'm gonna bring you in really close that's a good sign can you see that right there? Let me get you down here where you can see. See if you can see that. I don't know if you can or not, but trust me, that has spark like you wouldn't believe it. It's jumping like crazy in there. Wow, that's a good sign. Let's take that spark plug out and just screw it into the... Hey, we got that open. Let's do one thing here. We've got this oil right here, and I want to put a little oil in there. See, what I think happened, and I could be wrong, they just grabbed it and threw in a compression tester, and... This thing was all dried up. Those rings were dry. 
cylinder walls were dry. Everything about it was dry. How in the heck can you get a good compression test if you got dry cylinder walls? So, now I can see that oil working its way in there. Okay, let's put this back in. I'm not going to pull it very hard. I just want to test and see if we do have any compression at all. I'm really surprised that... Boy, come on! For Pete's sakes, you'd think I've never put a spark plug in before. One thing you don't ever want to do is cross thread these things. That would be bad news. Okay, I'm just going to put it in there finger tight. Now let's see what kind of... Ay, 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 ay. There's no comparison. You can tell me that don't have any compression. Wow. Let's see if I can get that back out of there. Just put it in finger tight. It had a lot, seemed like a lot of compression. I'm going to get my compression tester and put it in there. I have the compression tester inserted and screwed into the spark plug hole. And I'm just going to pull this a little bit and see what happens. Well, let me see what I can come up with. I'm not even sure what kind of compression's good or not good with these, but let me pull this. Let me get it down here and pull it. Guys, it didn't hold it. it. Must be something wrong with the compression tester, but as I was pulling it, it jumped up over a hundred on the gauge. I might not know anything about engines, but I'm pretty sure Compression of a hundred is way enough to start this motor What do you guys think comment below tell me what the norm is for These engines I, I know I could look it up But I would think anything from 80 90 100 120 Anywhere in there would be enough to start it you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pour a little gas in there and see what happens. That's nuts. Let's see if this will run. Let me get the gas around. I have the mixed gas here. I poured some down the hole. Let's shake it around a little bit. And let's dump that out. I'm going to do that over here because I had all that oil in there. I'll get something on that floor to clean that up. I still see a lot of gas in there. Let's get that out again. Yeah, it's not coming out. We'll leave it. That might be enough. Let's see here. I think that's enough to just see if it'll pop. Theoretically, if you got compression, if you have gas, and if you have spark, this should run. It's not going to stay running, but it should run. Oh, perfect. Okay, put that back on there. Now let me get this set up so I can actually pull it. What the heck? They said that wouldn't run? Does that sound like a saw to you that won't run? I 
I am dumbfounded. All these years they told me this saw was junk and all I did was pour gas in a cylinder and it starts right up. That's almost enough to make me mad. Let's get this back up on the workbench and we're gonna disassemble it and see if we can't get a good flow of fuel. I'm not sure how you get to the fuel tank, but uh, I do know a couple of things. I'm going to take the bar off, make it easier to work on it. So let's do that first. Let's find the right socket here. Yeah, let's see. Nope, it's not going to work. That looks to me like I may have to go over and get uh, my bigger wrenches sockets out. I still can't believe that fired up. Why would someone tell me that it's no good? I just don't know what to think about that. I am at a loss for words. I took the word of that repair shop and all these years this, this saw has sit on a shop or on the shelf because someone told me that it's not worth fixing. That's just nuts. Goes to tell you, it matters a lot when it comes to letting someone work on the stuff that you own. I made a short on this saw, and in that short I basically said, they told me this saw would never run again, and I'm going to prove them wrong. I never really, in my wildest dream, thought it would. But you heard it. Wow. Let's take this off right here so it doesn't get bent up or lost. It should come right off of there. Yep. I'm going to set it over to the side. This is the bottom. There's two of them. The bottom towards the saw. The top towards... I'm going to set them together like that so that I don't forget how that came apart. I've been known to forget. I don't know if the gray hair has anything to do with it, but I'm just a loss. I'm at a loss. I really am. Let's see, here's where the oil goes in. No, it says fuel mix. That's where the fuel goes in. So let's take this cover off and see if we can expose the fuel tank. Just a few screw bolts here. We'll make sure that they're the same length. Yep. Why did that just fall back down in there? Oh, it fell beside the hole. Those two are the same. Oh. Length. That one is short. We'll put them back in here just the way they came out. So we remember which ones go where, although I think I would be able to figure it out. Let's take that recoil off of there. Yep, this is called the recoil. You can see it's dirty. And the reason it's a different color, by the way, is years ago when I was cutting a tree down, I misread the tree, and that tree went in the wrong direction and fell on the saw and broke that. Back then I could still get parts. Right here's the fuel tank. 
I bet I'm going to have to take that flywheel out to get that out of there. What's holding it in, guys? Something's holding that in there. There's two little lines coming out of that. Can you see that? This is the fuel tank. Let me turn that. See, that's got a slot in there for a reason. I don't know what that reason is, but I always thought it was so in case you can't turn that off, you can use something to do that with. There's a little fuel in there, so we definitely... Uh-oh. Don't want that... Uh-oh. That chain is junk. Well, we'll have to fish that out of there, won't we? Yeah, see that fell down into the fuel tank. So let's see, that goes up to the carburetor. I'm going to have to expose that just a little bit more. Let me take a look at it. Uh-oh, where did that go? Not to worry, we'll figure it out. It went on there somewhere. Oh well. Okay, let's see here. How does this come off? This shield right here. Be nice if I could get that off of there. But how does that come apart? That split right there. That is. Let's take this gasket off here so we don't ruin it air cleaner gasket maybe we'll ruin it trying to take it off nope I'm not going to take that off it screws right there 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 now let me figure out how to take this off and I will bring it back in I've discovered how to take this off and I'll show you what I found. I'll bring in just a little closer here so you can see it. But if you look right here, I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's a screw hole there. I'm assuming there's one under here. And then there was one right here. So let's take this off. Let me get you over here where you can really see what I'm doing. So I wasn't going to take this gasket off right here. But because I was afraid I was going to break it. But I did get it started. And I wanted to show you. I'm just very carefully trying to peel that off. Um, so I don't want to have to make one which I could. I've got the material here, but let's see if I can't get it off without tearing it and distorting it too badly. It looks it's almost like it's glued on there. Oh, there it came. That's nice. Uh-oh. Right there. Let's get her off of there. Let me see what I can do here. There we got it. Like I said, I couldn't make this if I have to. Nope. I really don't want to. Yeah, I don't see a screw hole on this other side. That yeah, tore it. Shoot. Let me take... Oh, there it is. Let me get those two screws out of there and see if the thing comes out. I think it will. Held in three places. Like I said, I've never had the thing tore down like this before. Okay, and then one up here. Let's get her out. And hopefully what this does is it's going to give me access not only to the gas tank, but also 
Wow, let me pull this spark plug back off. It is exactly in the wrong place. Let's find that wrench again. What I do with it? Is this it? No. Oh, here it is. I found it. it wasn't lost. Okay, let's take that plug back out. That way I can get this out of the way to get this uh, off of here. We can always put the plug back in if we need to. Keep dirt and crap from falling in there. There's that. There's that. Bring that up. If this doesn't come out easily, it's going to be a problem all the way around. Let's get that. Oh, there it comes, just like that. Now look at that. Can you see that? There's a little carburetor. Looks like something was right there. Not sure what that's for. Some kind of gasket to keep it from... Vibrating, sucking air, I don't know. That's working fine. And that works fine. I need to get that tank out of there. I'm not sure how that sets in there. Might have to take that flywheel off. Let's set this over to the side there there's a spark plug those are the bar chain nuts get these tools back out of the way that's got a little gasket right there I'll set that to the side looks like there's two screws right there and my guess is that's what holds Holds the carburetor on. There's a lot to take off here. But I can see right now I gotta take the choke out off. It's right here. We'll save that screw in there. And then we will. Put that to the side. Let's look at the throttle here. What is this? That's the oiler. I'm gonna make sure that that's gonna work good. Hope so. The linkage for this is right there. Looks like I have. I definitely have to take the carburetor off if I'm going to get the fuel lines and all of that hooked back up. Jeez, that goes in there. I see it. Well, I used to say that, and people would say that. Pretty deep subject for a shallow mind. And that it is. Well, that need a really small screwdriver. Come on, Marv. What am I running into here? Something's holding that in place, and I'm not sure what yet. Boy, I hate to have to take this off. But I will. What do you think guys will she come let's see that nut came right off well that was a bit easier than I thought it would be let's 
put that back on and I used to do when as a kid so I put that on I should be able to pry on this right here and wrap on that at the same time and that theoretically should pop off let's see Hey, look at that, that popped right off of there. That's the way I used to do it. Obviously it still works. Let's see what we have here. Pop that off. Okay, lay that there. I don't think that's ever been off of there. Okay, that shows me a little bit more of what's going on in here. Look at this tube right here. That's the oil tube. Or is that wiring? That's wiring. Yep, that's a wire. What is holding that in? There's two screws down in there. I wish I knew a little bit more about this stuff. Now I know I have to take that carburetor off, so let's just get that done. See if this screwdriver fits in there. It doesn't. Let me go find one that might. I don't know if this one's fine enough or not, but we'll try it. Nope. What about you? Let's get this gas line out of the way. Ah, that just is not. Hey, that is trying. I never really liked working on this small, tedious stuff got to really have small fingers and my fingers have always been way too big and clumsy just like that and drop the let's leave that on there and drop the nut there it is or the nut the screw so this goes with that, and that goes there. I'm going to get a piece of tape and tape that on there so I don't lose it. I just don't want to take the chance of losing any of this stuff because it is just old enough that trying to match it probably been it pretty hard. Okay. We have that loose, we got that loose, there's two screws right here, bolts, screws, whatever, machine screws, I guess you'd call it. I'm going to pull this carburetor off of here and see how it's attached to the fuel line. Hey, look at that, thing's going to fall right off of there, isn't it? Let's get it off of there. And maybe if we get it out of here, look at that, what do we have? What do we have? We got this fuel line going in right there. There's the carburetor. Look at that little thing. Cute little rascal, isn't it? What's that? Something miss. Oh, that's where the throttle went in. Don't want to mess that up, do we? Let's take that back in, too. I'm just going to put a piece of tape over this to kind of hold it in place. That isn't going to work, is it? Let's set that right there. Out of the way, out of mind, out of sight. Okay, we have that. There's my fuel. 
Looks like somebody tried to seal that up with, there's another line right there. Where does that go? Okay, more stuff off. I'm into this saw way more than I ever thought I should have to get into it. Uh-oh. That went on there. Boy, I don't want to forget how that went in. Is that even touching anything? I don't know. For pity's sakes, there's so many little parts on that thing. Yeah, right there. right there see that that all feeds in there i'm not sure how it works but i'll we'll have to somehow get that all put back together okay i'm tearing all of this apart for one reason so i'm trying to get to this fuel line and see how that thing That is terrible. Let's get that completely out of there again. That is completely plugged with oil. Somebody put oil in this tank. And that goes somewhere, but where? Well, one thing's for sure, if you didn't believe me in the past, you might now. I've never been afraid to tear stuff apart. And this should be obvious to you that that's true. And probably why my dad chewed me out for tearing that carburetor apart, as you know, the mess mechanics in the world don't mess with carburetors. At least that was his opinion. And I guess should be known. That's probably true. Wow. I wonder if I could take that apart right there. If it's not this one. It is that one. Let's take that off. Now one thing about it, once this is all tore apart, at least I can clean these parts up somewhat, get everything cleaned. Either it'll work or it won't. Oh, look at that, just falling off of there now. Set that over here. Put these back in there so they don't get lost. I bet you guys are laughing at me, telling me you didn't have to tear it apart like that to get the tank out. Probably not. I've got to get that anyway to make sure that's working because that doesn't even feel like it's touching anything. Is that broken? We'll still leave it in there. There we go. I don't know. Okay, we're here, here. How do you get the tank out? Is it just stuck in there? Let me see. Look at that. <laughs> All of that in here, it just slides out easy. 
What the world? Maybe that's just a breathing tube right there. You know what? This thing's coming out slowly. What's it hooked on? Come on. Hey, there's something came loose. Oh, I see what happened. That line broke right there. Or is that just a breather? I don't know. Oh. All I know is that's coming out hard. Something's holding it in there, but what? this side and slowly but surely once we get it out we'll be able to figure stuff out a little bit this notch right there right there okay at least I know how that comes out now there's the tank and this is the gas line it looks like it was leaking right there, rightfully so, probably there also, because these lines are really brittle and hard. So the next step is, is just to get these lines replaced, get this stuff all cleaned up, and then we'd be ready to reassemble. Let me get all that done and let's see what we can accomplish. But let me tell you, I've got a mess full of parts laying here. Hope the old mind doesn't forget. I'm not going to get this completely done. So I'm going to have to remember a little bit on how all this went back together. Wow. It is a mess. It is. But like I said, this saw is really old. And I used it. And used it. But you heard it. It did fire. So we know we got that much. The question is, and it has to be answered, will it fire again? And will it stay running? Well, there's the tank. I need to clean it out. Because someone put oil in there. I don't know who would have done that. Maybe it was me. I have to get this line out. It's really brittle. I'm afraid it'll break. And I'm sure it's leaking right there. And this line right here needs to re be replaced. Honestly, I think I can salvage that by just cleaning it up good. We'll see. But... I accomplished what I wanted to get done today. It's disassembled. And as you can see here, a lot of parts. That all has to go back together. And there's no instruction manual. But that's going to have to wait until the next time. Until then, disassembles complete. If you have any comments that you'd like to share, boy, I'd love to hear them. I've not worked on this type of engine that much. Over the years, different things, but and I never really cared for it. But this one, and the reason for that is uh, they're so small and hard to get to. 
But one good thing is I could actually be sitting down to work on that. I like that idea. But I'm going to go ahead and clean all these parts up, get this tank cleaned out, get ready, get the new gas lines around, and when I get that, we'll be ready for part two of this video. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Subscribe if you like what you see. Comment down below. Greatly appreciate it. The question I always ask, can it be fixed? Sure it can. Can you fix it? You're darn right you can. Until the next time.